Hey everybody, RPG here. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to turn off your theme randomizer on RetroPie. So this is an issue that a lot of people have reached out to me about. Somehow or another, a lot of people end up actually enabling this. And what ends up happening is every time you reboot or restart your system, you get a new theme put into effect. So you might go through, select a certain theme that you wanna keep, and then everything's good, but when you go to reboot your system or you turn it off for the day, turn it on the next day, you find that everything reboots to a brand new theme every single time. So this is a super easy fix and it's literally just a couple buttons that we have to push in order to get everything back to normal on RetroPie. So we're gonna jump into it. I'll show you exactly what you need to do. We'll take it from there. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys exactly what we need to do. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into configuration or options. Depending on which theme you're using, it's going to be labeled either one of those two options there. In this case here, you can see at the top it says configuration. And the best way to indicate which of these you need to jump into is it's always going to be the collection that has either the RetroPie or Raspberry Pi logo on it, in most cases. In this case here, I have both of them present. So I'm gonna jump right in here. And now you want to go to where it says the um, this in my case, and it may be different again, depending on which theme you guys are using. My case here, it's the fourth option down. It's visual and theme tools. Yours may be uh, slightly different than that, but it should say something to the effect of visual uh, and theme somewhere in the heading. So we're going to jump into this option here. And now from here, we're going to go into Hursty's themes. Let this load for a second. And where we want to go from here is the third option down. But I do want to point out the second option as well. So if we go to the second option, it says enable ES boot up theme randomizer. Third option down says disable ES boot up theme randomizer. So these are the two options here. The second one turns the randomizer on. That is where every time you boot up or restart your system, you're getting a brand new theme populating in. So this has likely been selected if you are dealing with the issue where every time you boot up, it's coming in with a new theme. And if we want to stop that from happening, we just go down here to that third option and we're going to select that third option here. We could do that with enter on our keyboard or our regular button that we uh, make selections with on our gamepad controller. Either is gonna work, it's going to process and then bring you right back out here. There's not gonna be any type of confirmation notice or anything like that. So you just have to pay close attention. And once you've been brought back out here, we're just gonna go over to cancel and we'll select cancel. That's gonna bring us back out to our configuration or options page. And from here, all we need to do is reboot our system. In order to reboot, we're just gonna hit either start on our gamepad controller. Um, if you're using the keyboard, you can hit the space bar and that'll open up main menu. We're just gonna go down to quit and then either restart emulation station or restart system or shut down system and turn it back on, whatever you wanna do there. Now, when you do reboot your system, you're likely going to go to one of the themes in your system. Uh, it may not be the one that you want, but from that point forward, you're going to stick to that. So if you reboot it again, it's gonna come up to the exact same theme. So you may have to go in and change your themes one last time, but again, Whatever you choose from this point on is going to be what loads in every time you restart your system. So let me back out and I'm gonna show you guys real quick how we can select our themes, just so you're aware of that if you aren't already. So what we'll do once you've rebooted, you're gonna open up your main menu. You're gonna to go to UI settings. We're gonna select that. And then we're gonna go down to theme set, which you can see is right here. If we open this up, we can either select it or we can actually just go left or right. You can see here I'm moving left and right. This is the one that I was on. Uh, if I wanted to go to like Mario Brothers, I could do it here. The other way to do it is select this and then you can just scroll up and down and choose between different themes. So let's say I didn't want this magazine theme and I wanted to go to uh, joysticks, which is a cool one. I just go ahead, select this. And then once you select it, you wanna back out as well. It's not gonna change it just from selecting it. You can see here, I selected it. It's populated in, but nothing has changed in the background. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just hit your B button on your gamepad controller, and it's going to just load in for a couple seconds here. And then it should automatically populate your theme in uh, right away. And there it is. So if I back out of my main menu now, you can see my theme has totally changed over. So that is the way to change your theme. I just wanted to touch on that real quick, just in case you weren't aware how to actually make those changes from within your main menu. 
All right, so that's gonna do it for today. Hopefully you guys found this helpful. If you did, smash the like button for me. If you guys have any questions or need any assistance with this process, feel free to hit me up in the comment section below. But that's gonna do it for today. Smash the like button. Be sure to subscribe for all future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching.